Hey guys, Ray here, welcome to the channel. So for this video, I just wanted to mention some sales that are going on for some different suppliers for Labor Day. And also I can give you an update on what we're gonna be doing next here in the channel. So uh, for the sales that are going on, I just wanted to quickly mention um, Signature Solar. They have, they are probably the most popular DIY solar supplier in the United States here. This is supposed to be the second biggest sale that they have for the year. But basically it's 3% off the entire site. If you spend $5,000, get $150 off, plus $75 flat shipping. And then if you spend even more, $7,000 or more, $250 off your order, plus uh, free shipping. Um, and then if you spend $10,000, you get $500 off and free shipping. So I do see free shipping quite often, especially for the larger orders. So just to keep that in mind. The next sell is the solar panel sell that they have, $99 on specific solar panels. So if you're buying solar panels for your entire house, this probably isn't something you should rush into because you wanna look at your roof and buy panels specifically for the size of your roof that you have. So measure your roof and make sure you get something that will fit as many solar panels as you can get. Now for my system, I'll show you what I have. Now for my system that I have here, none of the solar panels on the website currently would be ideal for a ground mount system. Now for my system, I have what's called an Integra ground mount, and it, it holds one layer of solar panels. So for my one layer, I could get, you know, a five, 400 watt so, uh, solar panels, but that would not use my space wisely. I wanted to get the largest solar panel that they currently have. And at the time, I think the, uh, these were the largest I could find and they were 550 watts, watt panels. These things are like seven feet tall, but if I could have got like a 650 watt panel, I would have done that as well. Now these are bifacial solar panels. So they collect the sun from the top and then also from the bottom as it reflects off of the fence and the ground. So solar panels aren't something you would wanna rush into and get. You wanna get the perfect, you wanna get the right solar panels for your system. So you can check Signature Solar's website to see the largest solar panels that they have. And I did see a few that were about that same size. Now I got those solar panels from Santan Solar and they have some Jenko 535 watt panels for $127 a piece right now. So we'll jump on over to uh, Santan Solar. They also have some sales going on and it's just a flat rate, 20% uh, off solar panels and 10% off kits. So if you buy solar panels from them and you wanna buy a EG4 kit, like something I have, you can buy it as a bundle from Santan Solar. And then you can also use EG4 support if you like the support that EG4 offers, which I like that. Okay, let's jump over to the third supplier that I'm gonna mention, that is Shop Solar Kits. And they have a free shipping on all solar bundles and then also 5% off your entire order. So you spend like $10,000, you get $500 off, plus the free shipping. So that's really similar to Signature Solar, but I thought I'd mention them as well. And they sh supply a lot of uh, kits in the United States but I believe shop solar kits are based in Canada. So if you live in Canada, you might get an additional, you might get additional discounts on their solar equipment because of the uh, tariffs in the United States. So that's about it guys. If you wanna see uh, how I installed this system to run my main house electrical panel, I've got a whole bunch of videos on installing this FlexBoss 21 or different types of inverters as well. I've got like the 12,000 XP, the 12K PV, um, some other non EG4 brand inverters that I've all hooked into this setup here. So I know I haven't posted any videos for a while, but I think the next project we are going to be doing is we will be putting the grid boss right here in place of this switch. And that might be kind of annoying because I did, when I mounted this, I didn't leave enough room for the grid boss. So I think I'm going to have to drill new holes shift this over a little bit. And so I have room for the uh, grid boss right here. So that's what we have coming up. Yeah, let me know what kind of stuff you guys wanna see next. We will uh, try and start working again on the solar projects, but uh, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks.